We got some bladder women here, man. Anastasia Gilly. Oh, missing man. pregnant Florida teen found dead in Alabama. Convict boyfriend charged with murder. What do y'all think? Is this a dirt dolphin or a filthy fish? Is this a, What's what is a this? filthy fish? That's like worse than a dirt dolphin, man. That's like I only date dark skin dudes. <laughs> she got that look. She got that look. I met this white girl <laughs> at a meeting, and she she was like, she only date black men. And I was looking at her teeth, and they were so crooked and dirty. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, I could tell. <laughs> that was messed up. How would you tell? Wow. Her teeth were so dirty and crooked. So one of the dirty, crooked teeth one of the date black dudes? Yeah, she hating on the she hating on the set man. No, cause no. Like <laughs> she just looked at, she looked real rough and I know she ain't pulling no no what y'all call them high value Negroes. Oh god. Oh, right, here we go with this again. So tell can can we can we get a um can we get a consensus? I'm waiting for. A, is this a filthy fish, a bud shark, or a dirty? I gotta see her teeth. Let me see her teeth. Well, oh, she a good old white girl, man. She a good old honest white girl, man. No, she does. She definitely dating the dude with his pants no. sagging. Yeah. I, I don't know. Let's see the teeth. You can't see the teeth. I don't think. One. Yeah. Dirt, look at it. One for dirt dolphin. Two for. Honest, good old all American white girl. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you, yeah, it's a dark skin dude. Yeah, she that a black man, don't tea. <laughs> yeah, it's a dark skin dude. No doubt in my mind. Damn, you, bro. You could tell <laughs> the value of a, of a white woman with her teeth. <laughs> like, for real, if a white girl want to be my friend, I look at her teeth. What is with you and tea? God damn, oh, no. like a whole, like you're, like you're judging a horse. Tennis. <laughs> you just stare at everybody's teeth when you meet them? I had beautiful teeth. I've been told I had beautiful teeth all my life. I always go to the dentist. So what you a teeth is? No, nah, I just, the teeth tells a lot about a woman and people, period. They brush. Do you go to the dentist? Are you weren't getting your braces? Do your parents care about you growing up? Over the loss of their and you from Memphis? Daughter. Anastasia yeah, from Memphis. Hold on, man. Let's, 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 let's see what happens. A Florida here. family is in mourning tonight over the loss of their 19-year-old daughter. Anastasia Gilly was a, an expecting mother, and she was found dead today in Houston County. News Force Jacqueline Lambert joins us live in the newsroom. Jacqueline, what can you oh, tell us about the investigation? Bad side, man. They got a sister on the phone. You know you black. Yeah. She's so pretty. Uh, that's a bad side. Oh, yeah. Right now, yeah, details work. about a motive and how Gilly got from Jackson County, Florida, to a field in Houston County are limited. This is what we do know. Gilly's body was found around 2 a.m. off Headland Avenue Jesus here in Dothan, exactly one week after her family reported her missing. Gilly appeared to have been shot, though official cause of death is not yet known. The man accused of killing her is in custody and will stay in Alabama unless... You muted, Doc. Hold on, am I? Am I muted? Well, you paused the video and you weren't talking for a minute, so I figured you must be. Muted. I don't know what happened. I I didn't. Um, I, I thought it was me. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> Premium food said, so "Cam up so we can see your teeth." Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty teeth. Trust me. No more wasting money on multiple. A Florida family is in mourning to sing. Gilly I keep seeing this picture. And will Jesus. stay in Alabama unless investigators discover evidence that the crime happened in another state. Oh, yeah. She dates dude. black dudes. She definitely dates black dudes. State. Now, Jackson County Sheriff Donald Edenfield says they're working mm. closely with Houston County to find answers. Victim's body was turned over to the Houston County Coroner's Office, so obviously an autopsy will be performed and to determine uh, time of death, cause of death. Um, and of course, the crime scene uh, was processed this morning by Houston County Sheriff's Office and all the evidence gathered um, uh, will be sent to a lab to determine um, certain things. 
So it's it's a process. It won't happen overnight. But the the, the good thing is he's he's in custody today. The suspect in this case is 33-year-old Marquis McLeod. He is charged with capital murder Nigga. during a kidnapping. We've also uncovered a history of violence surrounding McLeod through court records. When the sheriff... Marquis, give me an idea of Marquis. <laughs> you know Marquis got braids. <laughs> I told y'all. It's going to be a Saturday, Marquis, man. You never know, man. No, nah, Marquis got braids. He got braids two gold teeth. His name could be Mark Eric, and he could say Mark, mm. and he could use the initial E. Mark E. Mm. With that McLeod. He if, he got, Marky. if he got goats, Marky that's, Mark. Man, that's high value Marky. right there. He weighed about 120 pounds. He real skinny. Marky Mark was white. You y'all y'all judging too early, man. Let me that lasted for about three weeks. Connection between Gilly and McLeod. They also found he violated probation, which landed McLeod in custody. Through investigations, um, we did uh, determine that they knew each other and that they had talked, and that's what led us to um, to interview the suspect initially. But the the depth of their relationship is is uncertain at this time. So y'all telling me that a black dude killed this girl and a sheriff with a fucking cowboy hat arrest them, um, talked to him, and didn't hang him from the closest tree? Y'all tripping, man. Yeah. Ain't no way. Ain't no a cowboy way. hat. <laughs> ain't no way this a black dude, man. Come on, man. That's not what I've been told, man. Shout out to Jim Sefton, man. Just checking in. Thanks for all this channel does. Salute to you, Jim Sefton, Op Nation Hall of Famer, man. Let me get let me go to this other story. Let's see if this let's see if this guy's really a son, man. We're gonna we gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of this, man. Um Fuck this shit, man. You got breeze, I guarantee you. Cloud has brushed with the law numerous times. As mentioned, his adult record began in 2008 and continued for 15 years. News Force Ken Curtis investigates McLeod. Damn, <laughs> 15 years of just crime. And then he kills a white girl. It, wow. But you know what? You 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 pasty liberal white girls ask for it, man. It's criminal background. <laughs> Old it's her fault she didn't get the abortion he wanted. Yeah, not the first place he's been. Damn. Found. His criminal history began in 2008 when police accused him of making a oh my god and criminal mischief. Records reveal few details of those crimes are available, but we do know while awaiting trial, authorities charged McLeod with rape. Court records show he received an eight-year sentence. He wanted to serve that time in work release, but community corrections officials refused to accept him. And in 2016, a Georgia grand jury indicted McLeod on another rape charge. And then the next year, yet another rape charge. This dude wait, been he down three rape, rape charges and he's freaking out. How did wait, wait, he? Wait, 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 I would have strung him up by his Johnson and let him let let him die. Wait, wait, wait. Was he still dating after all those charges? Obviously. <laughs> wow, wow. And these chicks did they? The chicks knew this girlfriend knew. How what? old was she? She was like 18, right? 19. This 19. girl. She, wasn't, she, didn't do her, she didn't do her research. Uh, she probably yes. didn't care. See, if, if, she oh was my my friend, if she was my friend, I would have did my research on him. Yeah, so, you got uh, to, uh, I would have done research with a knife stabbing his back. So, mm. what was it? Uh, eight months ago, there was a trial for a uh, Matthew Terry who had uh, previously been convicted of domestic assault and uh, stabbing his ex girl his his girlfriend multiple times about the neck and shoulders and stuff like that and had a white woman come up to to his trial and sit there glaring at the victim the whole time he was up there and as soon as he gets out after a 5 year sentence she let, brings him into the home and 6 months later she's killed stabbed about the neck basically almost had her head cut off by this guy. Women are just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is um three murders. I mean he's not like getting charged. He did time. Three right three. show you received an eight yeah. year sentence Jeff. Records reveal. Few details of those crimes are available, but we do know while awaiting trial, authorities charged McLeod with rape. 
court records show he received an eight-year sentence. He wanted to serve that time in work release, but community corrections officials refused to accept him. And in 2016, a Georgia grand jury indicted McLeod on another rape charge. And then the next year, yet another rape charge dismissed. Oh, my God. Then in 2021, police in Albany, Georgia, accused McLeod of cutting a man's throat. Battery charges in that Georgia city. How is this nigga still living? Ending. Other arrests McLeod has faced include fraudulent use of a credit card and criminal mischief. So I got a question. I got a question real quick. And what if that white Marine in New York would have strangled him? You think there would have still been a protest? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Okay, good. this man is a serial rapist and he is out roaming the streets and now he murder a pregnant woman. This they failed her. The system failed her. Yeah. The system because she should her. never have been able to make contact with this but, man because he should have been in prison. But but the racist courts in the South are so hard on these guys. <laughs> but how did the system fail her? Would it she would have still chose a guy like this? I guarantee you she knew all this about this guy. I don't, I don't know. think I don't think she knew that uh, it was a race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, she didn't know that. She didn't listen, know that. listen, listen. I deal with these type of people all the time. I, I guarantee you, she knew about this and she didn't care. Women go for these kind of guys all the time. No, I get that. I get that. I unless, get that. unless he convinced her, was like they lied on me. He could have made up, concocted like a story, and she felt bad for him. No, okay, and fell yeah, for yeah, the yeah. okey doke. They could have worked. Tell me how right, right. About when he's hopping from town to town. Remember, he's not, he's he he's here, he's there, he's in this city, he's in that city. All these charges are in different places. She comes to your her your town, he sweeps her off her feet. How the how does she know that? How does she, she know probably that? like them? She like them type of them them so called bad boys. But that's I'm saying he could have painted it. himself as a good guy in the beginning, and she's 19, so. She probably don't know that. She probably believe everything that this man told her. Oh, which on. probably was a bunch of good things. Hold on, I I don't think she he presented himself as a nice guy. I think he presented himself. It's a difference between a thug, a d boy, a stepper, and a rapist. I think he presented himself as a thug and a stepper and all that stuff. But as a rapist, I think I think he probably hid all that from her. But I, people, women date those type of men all the time, like. It was this dude in my neighborhood, right, that went to jail for um, for killing and raping a girl, right? And he got 30 years. While he was in jail, he met a girl. <laughs> While he was in jail, he met this broad. So he did. He got out after 15 for early parole. So they dating. He moved in with her. Of course, after a few like a few months, she decided this wasn't the right move for her because she's dealing with this fucking psychopath. So she wanted him out. She put him out, but guess what? He started doing it. He started oh. stalking her. Yeah. Of course. And then next you know, one day he broke into the apartment, set her on fire, and stabbed her up. She ended up dying. But she knew that the whole time. So women go for these type of men. We can't excuse the fact that, I mean, just because he did all that doesn't mean that she didn't, she didn't find that exciting. There's some sick people in this world. I know, but yeah, I'm, just looking, at, I'm looking at her, her age, and she's probably very naive. That, that should give you credence to her being even more dumb than yeah. her age. Like, she Wait. was 19, naive, probably, like I said, trusted a man, took everything he said. 